What's going on guys? Luke Shimoni Hebrew coming at ya. It is Thursday, uh, February 4th, and um, that basically means that we just finished the first Series E qualifier for Season 2. Yesterday, last night, Farm Boys, congratulations. Farmer Luke is coming back at us hot. Um, but it's Thursday, and you guys know what Thursday means? It means it's Pokemon time. You got it. I got a full 36 pack booster box of Vivid Voltage, guys. And we're gonna be opening it live tonight, but who knows, maybe we, uh, we won't be able to open it because we find too much stuff on our target run today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna jump in the Stang um, and we're gonna hit a couple targets, maybe a Walmart or two, a GameStop maybe, who knows, but uh, we're gonna couple, hit, hit a couple spots, see if we can uh, find something worth opening even more than this box. And if not, we're gonna crack this puppy open and see what we get. back all right guys we are at the first location of the day with that dude's car alarm going off we are at a target um i don't know how many we're gonna hit today guys but uh it's gonna be i'd say a good chunk of them uh we got a mask up now you know safety first guys all right guys we are at the first target area right here pretty stocked honestly but not really too many pokemon cards we got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. we got a lot of magic uh, but it does look like they recently restocked. They just didn't have too much Pokemon stuff to stock, right? We got down here, we got some trainer tool kits. These aren't too great. They do have a couple packs in them. I haven't picked one up yet, so we might end up grabbing one of those. But I did find this very interesting Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary pack, right? This is a Metal Raiders pack. So, it's pretty interesting. We might open this on stream tonight. Let's take a look at the back. A lot of times when you head to the back of the store, you used to see a similar selection to the front of the store. Um, but now, as you can see here, it's very limited. Seems like they don't even put that much. Still a decent amount of them, the magic sets. Um, but who the hell wants to buy magic cards right now? So come on, come on guys. It's... I forgot to mention last time, uh, one of my favorite things to do is to check, of course, what's going on in the Pokemon Go realm around each of the locations that I hit. Um, and there's some Team Rocket stuff going on right now as well. So it's a Pokemon Go time. Oh, my mask is flying off my face, which is always good. Gotta love that. There we go. Sorry, I had to break out my backup mask. I dropped my main mask on the floor, so you guys get it. Safety first. Oh, here we go. We got some cool stuff here. So, guys, look at this. See Pokemon Gang, dude. We're, everyone's out here. Look at this, boys. We got an Alakazam V Box. Uh, this has four vivid voltage packs in it. Let me turn you guys around. There we go. This is pretty cool. It's got four vivid voltage packs. Uh, they also have some individual packs as well. It's not too bad there. What'd you guys think? Some cool battle boxes? Yeah, the Alakazam as well. Not bad, not bad. This place also has trainer cool kits, like pretty much everyone does. Those are literally everywhere. These are the new... Blastoise. That's some cool art. So Blastoise just V-Box? Let's see what it is. It's, a, it's obviously a battle box, right? So we got a Blastoise V. And it looks like outside of that, it's just generic commons and whatnot. So you pretty much buy the whole thing just for this one full art. Hey, I don't even know if it's full art. It kind of looks full art, it looks a little crunchy. We'll scoop it, we'll scoop it though. And then we got a couple packs up here as well. So let's grab two Sword and Shield packs and two Rebel Clash packs. That seems like a pretty good split there. We got a good little haul here from this target. Let's roll out, boys. So first we get the cards, then we get the cart, and then we come back through checkout to check the back of the store before we pay. Let's go check out this GameStop and see what they got going on. Let's see if they got any cards in. This is usually where they are. Looks pretty empty today. What's up, dude? You got any Pokemon cards hiding back there? I knew it, dude. I missed it. Just buy a little bit. See, guys? That's why you gotta go. Yeah, totally. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. They just opened up a bunch of like the battle styles, like ETBs, boosters, and some other ones that we're doing. Okay. See this, guys? GameStop's doing pre orders for the new uh, battle styles. Where are the hidden fate? 
pre-orders. That is what I'm talking about. Battle Styles is good, guys, but that's the competitive side, you know? All right, we are at the next location, another Walmart. I got an egg hatching, which is hype. Um, let's see what we can get here. Standard crap. <sighs> we don't really expect too much when it comes to egg hatching. Oh, hey, another one, actually. This is a 12K. Oh, it's actually kind of hype. I'm all about, I'm all about Scraggy. We're cruising through the entrance. This Walmart specifically, I feel like a lot of times is pretty stacked. Um, but it's all about just hitting it on the right day, just like any other retailer. It just, it's a crab shoot always. And it looks like in this case, we are pretty empty here. All right, guys, we are at another Wow, it is freaking bright. We are at another Target. I can barely see anything out here. Let's see if they have any Pokemon cards. Which they probably do. This guy probably knows. Where would you guys keep your Pokemon cards? Pokemon? Yeah. Right down this way on the right hand side, very last right. Thanks, man. See, we knew he would know. What was it? See? We got the hookups. I've never been to this Target, so I'm just lost. And I'm in the toys, I'm looking for Pokemon cards. Oh, let's go! Yeah. Who needs Pokemon cards when you got cool shit like this, you know? Gotta love the toy aisle. We're circling back to the homie because we did not find any Pokemon cards here. Like, anywhere. This is the Lost in Walmart, um, or Lost in Target vlog video where we just walk around Target for endless hours looking for stuff that doesn't exist. I found it. This is what we're dealing with here. We see these pretty much everywhere. Those are always cool, but they're pretty standard. Uh, we know we've seen that a lot today. Looks like they have some Steam Siege booster packs, which are pretty lame. A lot of magic. A little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh love there, but... Yeah. Looks like that's it. All right, guys, we're at the next location. I'm just setting up uh, some eggs. This is so hard, Kyle. Oh my God. Like what? What is even the point of me trying to do this? But on the bright side, guys, we are at another Walmart spot here. Uh, there it is. What's up, boys? Hey, it's good out here. It's hanging out. Walmart, yeah. Walmart. We love Walmart. No messing around. Oh, man. I am in the gro I am in grocery. I'm in grocery. This grocery house says sugar. You know who doesn't like sugar? EA. <laughs> that was such a good joke. <sighs> oh, wait. This is the toy section. I'm such a dummy. This is what we're dealing with, boys. As always, look at this. Dead. Pika pika. Love it. Oh wow, look at these. So I guess this is where they would be. There are these packs here. Includes one rare card. These are actually, if these were Pokemon themed, I honestly would probably get some. As like when the Pokemon ones, I know you can actually unlock anything. All right, gents, last stop of the day. We are at another Target. This Target is the, oh my God, look, there's a Dollar Tree right next to it, dude. Should we go for the Dollar Tree too? See if we can get anything. Dollar Tree does technically sell um, dollar packs, I believe. Uh, that are three cards um, and do have, it's similar to like those random packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards we saw at the last Target or last Walmart. Um, they do have the ability to get anything. That's the end. It says entrance in red and I don't know. That seemed like a bait to me, but you know, you do what you can. As we come cruising up, we got some more of the Blastoise boxes. Here is the Venusaur one. We did not have an opportunity to grab one of these. Um, at the last spot, which is awesome. Now we have both. So that's a good pickup for sure. Of course, they have the tool kits like everybody does. 
You always gotta look, you never know where you're gonna find hiddens, you know? Hidden, hidden goodies, if you will. What is this? The Complete Series. This is definitely a W. Um, let me flip this back around here. As we work towards the back of the store. Um, well, look who we found, guys. Every time. <laughs> All right, I lied. I didn't, I didn't even think about the fact that obviously there's a target right next to the arena. Why would I not quickly check this one too, right? All right. We have arrived. Nothing, pretty empty today. <laughs> so funny, guys. Look at this. Big ah. All right, we're out of here. All right, guys. We are at Esports Arena. We parked. We are going down the parking structure now. I got my bag of goodies right here. Boom, there she is. All right, guys, just remember. It's Esports Arena. It's about to be lit. We got all our new champion clothes in. This is essentially the, the focus piece of our entire stream, right? It's like what's on this map. Right. Show us what we got, Tyler. Um, I don't even. Oh, you got the Alakazam V Box! Blah! <laughs> Let's go. Rebel Clash, dude. There's actually some six in Rebel Clash. Exploded, deleted. The Venusaur. Uh, was this a battle? battle yeah, pack? it is. Battle it's, it's like a. It's like a deck. It's a battle deck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got Vivid Voltage. There you this go. is incredible. Full box. I have actually never opened an entire booster box of this set, so I am excited. Yeah, yeah. Oh! oh! Sword and Shield, dude? This is... Are you kidding me? That's the OG, dude. I found that shit. One left. This is how we run production. In case you guys are ever curious, it all happens here. Oh my guys. Did you guys know that Tom Brady has a higher percent chance, statistically, to make the Super Bowl? then Steph Curry has to make a three-point shot. A single three-point shot? A single three-point shot. That's a real statistic. Because Tom Brady literally has made... Oh, seasons. Yeah. He's been to... His, his, his uh, like appearance rate is like 52. 55% and Steph Curry... I don't Curry's... even know who Tom Brady is. What? 